Something we need to talk about is as you get started on your real estate journey or investing journey, some of you look at, uh, hey, I've got one. Is that too soon for me to invest in getting some software products? In order to have this conversation, I thought we should talk to the CEO of Hemlane and see what we have in this space. How are you doing, Dana? I'm great. Thanks for having me again. Absolutely. Well, we should first acknowledge the elephant in the room. You obviously provide a wonderful platform or a software. So you're you're you might be slightly biased, but I will be here to be the other side. Uh, so let's talk about that brand new landlord who's got one rental property and is evaluating, trying to do it with phone and Excel and email versus really investing in a software product. What do you when you think of that investor? What do you, what comes to mind? Yeah. So, you know, traditionally landlords, the small mom and land, uh, uh, small mom and pop landlord has been what you see with any small business. There's a really low willingness to pay for a good reason for anything, right? In part, because you say, this is my revenue coming in. I can actually pick up this stuff. It's not until I grow to 50 units or whatever that I may consider, you know, um, bringing um, employees in house, actually building out the business. Um, so that has not changed. Like the small mom and pop is very similar to other businesses. The landlording side is very similar to other ones. Um, and then there's the other thing that you have to think about of um, the alternative. So traditional management and just passing the reins over, which is definitely much more expensive, but makes a lot of sense in a lot of cases. And so I encourage when you have one rental property to take a step back and say, why do you have that rental property? And, and the reason I do that is because what I found is people who dabble in a lot of different things and never really focus, never really make it in life. You really do need focus. And so if you have one rental property, you say, I'm just going to have one rental property, and then I'm going to go over here and start this other business, and then I'm going to go over here and start another business, and I hope like one sticks, my experience has been nothing sticks. It is hard work. It is buckling down and focus. And so if you have one rental property, the real question is, where are you going with that? And I would hope with one rental at a time, if the answer is I'm going to be building up our uh, portfolio and this is how I'm going to be able to um, take a step back from my nine to five and have this financial freedom, right? And, and the reason I bring that up is when you have that focus and you can do that and you set a goal like four years out of where you're going to be, you actually do get there. But if you don't set that goal and that stake in the ground, you don't get there. You don't back into it. And so that's where I do actually think systems are important to set up initially. Um, we think about that a lot here at Hemlane, um, even just from ourselves. Like we'll look at two software solutions and say, okay, this one's for, you know, smaller businesses just starting out. This has the bells and whistles and maybe a little bit more expensive, but as we grow in scale, it's going to be what we need. And I used to have this mindset of like, let's use the cheaper one first and then we'll change later. And it's always come back to haunt me or to bite me where it's like so much work to do a transition. Yeah. It was just better to have the better system in place. <clears throat> and so the reason I bring that up is I actually want people to think about if you have one rental property, you say, I don't want software solutions. I'm just going to do everything myself. The real question to me is like, well, why do you have that one rental property? Mm -hmm. Are you focused on the right things? <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me, are you setting your career up? Um, so I'll let you take it from there, Michael. Yeah, I actually, it's funny. I'm going to come out a little more aggressive or hard uh, and tell folks, even if you have one, you really, you need something. Because what you've done, once you've got into the one rental game is you actually have invested capital now. You also have entered what I consider a people, a.k.a. services business. And this business is highly litigious, right? There there can be downside risks. So if we had to go back and the technology was available back when we started, we would absolutely have something like this. Just for the audit trail, the communication, the tracking. One of the hardest things, again, I've been very clear, my, my goal in the beginning was finding deals and securing capital. But Olivia was running the books and trying to audit the, you know, audit the PM. And again, we fired the first five. If we would have had access to something like this, we probably would have fired him faster 
because obviously when you're trying to do forensic accounting on your account after the fact with paper, it's not easy. Um, I would tell someone again that your job is is to in the service business and email and, and phone is not enough. Um, so I would challenge someone and we have Dion talking about him late now. Obviously, we have different you have different tiers and all of that. And Dion's the lazy landlord. And he's like, give me some of that every time I have a vacancy. He puts another uh uh property of his in him lane. So if, if the lazy guy is doing it, I think that is a sign also for me you know, 22 years in the game, it's a service business, a people business. And man, you want that audit trail, uh, both for tenants and repair folks. So I think you're underselling it. I think it's vital once you're in the game uh, to have one, you have to have something. If it's him lane, great. If it's something else, great, but please yeah. get something. Even if you're just mom and pop, the, the price points ridiculously cheap and uh, people would be foolish not to, not to consider it just for the risk avoidance. Uh, yeah, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, definitely. It's a it's a risk avoidance having a system, and then it's also being able to get to what career goal um, or goal in your life that you have set from a financial perspective. In order to get there, you do need to act like, "Hey, I am going to get there." And it's really interesting how much um, uh, mentally things play there like a role. Like if you think of like, "Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get there, so maybe I won't get the systems in place." You're not going to get there, but if you yeah. put that stake in the ground. Um, so yeah, I would just encourage um, those out there who are saying, hey, I've got a property. I'm kind of dabbling in it, kind of dabbling with um, software and solutions. It's like, take a step back and look at where you're going and what you're doing and set up the right system today. Yeah. The other, the last thing I'll kind of say there is I, I you know, I've talked to people for multiple decades now about this and the people that kind of try to do it on a shoestring or just with free stuff, they usually cap out around four or five properties mm -hmm. because it just, it becomes too much, especially if they have a full-time job on top of that. If they're just, you know, that's all they do is property management. Maybe it's possible, but most of the people are like me, right? They have a full-time job, demanding job, growing family. And if you try to do it on a shoestring, you're going to cap out at three or four. That's what I usually see. But if you have systems, you get cleaner, more audit trail. You're not doing everything yourself. Um, you could do more with the same amount of time. And this is about growing to four or maybe 10. You're not going to get there unless you have a system. So I suggest getting it up front, look at the various tiers. And if you have nothing, you've got to get the trial, the 15 day trial. Where can they get that? Yeah, you can go to www.hemlane, H-E-M-L-A-N-E.com. And there will be a, how did you hear about us? So mention one rental at a time because you do get 20% off your first year. I like that. And folks, in my free course, Dana created a PDF for the trial. Uh, if you're in the paid course, there's actually a video series. So might as well get a guided tour from the CEO. Thanks, Dana. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.